CGM or a continuous glucose monitor. I've been wearing one for a month. Here's what I've learned. Number one, pros and cons. This, I wanna be crystal clear, is for people who have not been diagnosed with type one or type two diabetes. So this would be more for wellness experiment to learn about how your food choices affect your blood glucose. Absolutely, it can reflect an early pre-diabetes or insulin resistance, or it could be a useful tool to help modify your dietary habits. Can it cause stress or anxiety? Of course, there's a cost involved. I ordered this one from Amazon. You do not need a prescription. It pairs with an app on your phone and it gives you immediate real-time feedback on what's happening inside your body with your blood glucose. For me, it was incredibly interesting. There were some surprises in terms of what foods resulted in a glucose spike. And these are healthy foods sliced orange, sweet potato, half a banana. Perfect example of how not all carbohydrates are created equally. Did spike my glucose above 140, which is generally the upper range of normal. Went to about 143, 145. Did come down very quickly after just a few minutes, but still interesting. Also, behaviors, taking a walk after meals, what that does to your blood glucose, very helpful, but something that can give you real-time data on you and then hopefully and helpfully modify some of your behaviors towards better metabolic health. I lost a pound the first two weeks I had it on, probably because again, I didn't want to eat anything that I knew would result in a glucose spike. So definitely pros and cons, definitely valuable scientific and medical information. And I'll tell you more about it in my weekly newsletter.